Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of the Chess this week. Now this one's going to be a bit of a short episode as I'm just packing and preparing to leave to Kazakhstan for the World Rapid and Blitz Championship. The first round will start on the 26th, but let's dive into the Chess this week. Now starting with the online events of course because that's been the biggest news this week. Hikaru defeated Magnus Carlsen in one of the most exciting contests, one of the most exciting speed chess championship finals in the history of the event, but not just in speed chess but in chess overall. Peak of 150,000 viewers watched this match concurrently and the match lived up to its billing. It was so close until the last 15 minutes it was equal 11 and half 11 and half but hikar just pulled past with three wins in a row from then on and won 14 and half 13 and half in a very very tight match an exciting match and won for the ages will this be the new world order ikaru finishing in number 1 in online championships and magnus finishing in number 2 because this is what happened in the next title tuesday as well ikaru finishing in the first place with 10 and half and magnus finishing in the second place with 9 and half do let us know in the comments below and the acquisition of chess.com of the rival company chess24 and the play magnus group has become official in one of the biggest news in the chess world so this was announced in a state of chess.com stream by both chess.com chess24 and all the sister companies chessable angels and other companies do let us know what do you think of this acquisition slash merger as well in the comments below this is going to be exciting or it can be skeptical so do let us know and moving on to the over the board rapid action the gashimo memorial the super strong tournament took place in azerbaijan and this was won by the uzbek wonder kid nurbek abdul satro with five rounds to spare he was just amazing a magnus esque performance or should i call it a ikaru esque performance now that ikaru has defeated magnus in their last encounter he won with five rounds to spare although he lost the last round against gukesh gukesh had a disappointing tournament finishing in 8th out of 10 players although he had a good final day with a few wins it was a disappointing performance overall for gukesh but nevertheless he still had the last laugh with uh, winning the last round against abdul satro now all that ends well as well or maybe not but it's still a nice consolation for gukesh in this tournament and in the european individual rapid championship now this was won by hemel santosh latasha and david navara finished in the second place now david navara had earlier won the blitz event and in the rapid event uh, he contended with the second place in a big open tournament in poland and the sunway suggests now over the board classical still has its place although magnus carlsen thinks it's going to be phased out at least the elite level of classical chess but it still seemingly has its place with the, these exciting opens and the sunway suggests was won by grandmaster kirill alexienko hans niemann now we can't keep him out of the news even if we want to he finished in the second place winning the tie break match against grandmaster amin tabatabai from iran now amin uh, tabatabai had to miss his first round being paired against an australian opponent so he was unlucky that he could only play uh, nine games while everyone else played 10 rounds but this was a story from sunway suggests and moving back to home the mpl national chess championship is underway right now two rounds have been over now sp seethraman who had recently got married is back in action and he's the first seed so this will be his first tournament after his wedding and uh, after two rounds most of the top seeds have had a smooth sailing and the women's championship will start very soon it will be held in kolhapur in maharashtra and of course the world rapid and blitz championship is upcoming in just 3 days and it will feature magnus carlsen hikaru nakamura the top global stars the best stars from india arjun nihal vidit Uh, prag has not been in a notable exception but otherwise almost all of india's top stars participating in this event and also some of the not so star players like me participating in this event 
and Hans Niemann is also going to play in this event. So this will be something interesting to watch out in case Magnus and Hans are in the lead at some point and get paired against each other. Now this will be quite expensive for Magnus to default. So that's another uh, interesting and spicy thing to watch out in this World Rapid and Blitz. That's this episode of The Chess This Week. Now if you like this episode then do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and see you all hopefully from Kazakhstan next week if the internet is good enough there. See you, bye bye.